Witchcraft is real and they like to attack us but God has given us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and overrule the power of the enemy and nothing should by any means hurt us. Luke 10 verse 19. Whenever you face an attack, use that power and authority that God has given us. The word of God says that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I decree an end to every witchcraft attack in your life even as you watch this video in Jesus name. Amen. Here are the clear signs that you're under witchcraft attack. Somebody help. Anybody? Someone please help. Somebody help. Somebody help. Honey, what is it? Why are you screaming at the shower? It's late at night. I'm scared. I'm scared. I had a terrible nightmare. Someone was pressing me in my dream and I was shouting in the dream, but it's like you couldn't hear me. I could also hear the voice of birds chanting around me in the dream. Please, pray for me. That's a sign of witchcraft attack. If you begin to hear strange voices making noise around you. Sometimes, you hear people calling your name when you're asleep, or you hear the voices of birds chanting around you. It's a sign that you're under witchcraft attack. Another sign of witchcraft attack is sleep paralysis. Whenever you're asleep and suddenly, you experience a force pressing you down. You want to shout but cannot and even when you shout, you cannot be heard. This is a sign of witchcraft attack. Bad dream. Bad dream. I see so many marks on my body. What is it again? Did you have a terrible nightmare again? Yes. This time, a cat was pursuing me in my dream and it scratched me. I woke up and discovered this marks all over my body. Can you see it? The blood of Jesus Christ. I can see marks all over your body like you were scratched. We need to do something. This attack is becoming too frequent. I think you should tell Pastor about this. When you wake up and discover laceration or marks all over your body, it means you just suffered from witchcraft attack. There are people that experience this often. They'll always wake up with this marks all over their body. Please, don't ignore it. It is a witchcraft attack. If you see a cat in your dream or a masquerade pursuing you around, it is a witchcraft attack. Witchcraft is a very wicked power and they rejoice in people's calamity. They derive joy in wickedness and frustrate so many destinies. So, you must be ready not to accept defeat or harassment from them by fighting them with the weapons of our warfare which is the word of God and prayers. My head. My head. Honey, please wake up and take me to the hospital. I'm having serious migraine. Why not take some pain relief medication and then we will go to the hospital in the morning? My head is banging terribly. I saw an ugly creature in my dream and he threw a stone on my head. Since then, I've been having this migraine. That's a spiritual attack. Tomorrow, we'll go and see Pastor for counseling. We really should pray and cancel these evil dreams. Another sign of witchcraft attack is unexplained sickness. Strange illnesses that cannot be diagnosed and even the doctor will not be able to find anything but you're sick. I heard the story of a lady that was stoned in the dream and the stone hit her breast. A few weeks later, she discovered a lump in her breast and went to see the doctor. Before she could even take it out, it was cancerous. Remember, it all happened after she had that dream. Witchcraft likes to afflict people with sickness, but my prayer for us is that the blood of Jesus Christ will always speak for us in Jesus' name. Amen. From all that you've said, I think all what you've been seeing are signs of witchcraft attack and you have to act now before they'll take you or your wife down. Witchcraft is a gathering of wicked personalities to destroy or kill people by drinking their blood or afflicting them. They operate in families, schools, churches. They are everywhere and their weapons are manipulation, control, intimidation, spell casting and so on. The way out of their evil attack is by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Pray always. Set your environment on fire for Christ, determined not to allow them operate in your environment. The word of God in Isaiah 49, 24-26 says, Shall the prey be taken away from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, 
even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee and they will save thy children and they will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that I the Lord am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Hallelujah. Can you do midnight prayers? Yes sir. I'll be praying for you and I'll also be praying deliverance prayer with your family. Please, make sure you study the word of God and pray always for God is with you as a mighty one. Therefore your persecutors shall stumble and fall. Amen. Thank you so much sir. I'll do as you have said. Lastly, one of the clear signs that you're under witchcraft attack is the spirit of slumber. They'll make sure that you are weak in the spirit and your spiritual life is down so that they can be able to attack you and win. Proverbs 6, 9-10 says, How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. Matthew 13-25 But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat and went his way. You'll no longer be able to wake up at night to pray. They'll make you weak so that they can attack and oppress you. You can even be sleeping in the place of prayer. May every witchcraft oppression in our lives come to an end in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we bless you for you are the mighty man in battle. You're the pillar that holds our life, the covenant-keeping God. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. We come to your throne of mercy and ask for mercy. Forgive our sins and cleanse us from every sin. Even as we pray tonight, answer us by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Stronghold of witchcraft in our lives, I command you to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. According to the word of God in Isaiah 54, 15, every gathering of witchcraft against me and my household. I command them to scatter and fall for our sake in Jesus' name. Witchcraft oppression in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, catch fire. Any power or person calling my name for evil, I silence you by fire in Jesus' name. I decree an end to every witchcraft attack in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Any personality using witchcraft against me, I command you to be destroyed by fire. I stand on the word of God in Isaiah 59. 19 that says that when the enemy shall come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. You evil flood of witchcraft that has covered my destiny, I command you to dry up in Jesus' name. Witchcraft powers of my Father's house attacking by glory, be destroyed by fire. Father Lord, unseat every witchcraft personality sitting upon my destiny in the name of Jesus. Any household witchcraft fighting to demote my life, expire by fire in Jesus' name. I withdraw my name from the register of my family evil altar in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft personality pursuing me, fall down and die. According to the word of God in Psalm 125, 3, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. I command every rod of the wicked against my life to be destroyed in Jesus' name. My Father, my Maker, as I begin to pray, I command any witchcraft personality attacking me in my dream to be destroyed by fire. Every foundation of household witchcraft be destroyed. I break and lose myself from every covenant of witchcraft and I command my soul to escape as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. Psalm 124, 7. According to the word of God in Jeremiah 1, 10, God has given me power to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. I stand on that power and authority and break and lose myself, my husband, my children from every witchcraft attack. Witchcraft conspiracy against my life scatter in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft power that has vowed to drink my blood, according to the word of God in Ecclesiastes 10, 8, He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it and hoso breaketh an edge, a serpent shall bite him. I command you power that has vowed to drink my blood, to drink your blood from tonight. Because I am a child of God and the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ is upon me. Galatians 6, 17 Therefore let no witchcraft power trouble my life. From henceforth let no witchcraft power torment my life or my family. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak better things on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. Wicked attacks against my life scatter by fire in Jesus' name. According to the word of God in Psalm 24, 1 The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Because the earth is the Lord's and mine, by extension, 
I enforce dominion over this territory now by fire. I decree that every territorial power in this environment is under my feet in Jesus' name, according to the word of God in Isaiah 41, 11-12, Father Lord, as many that contend with me shall be as nothing in Jesus' name. According to Jeremiah 17, 18, as many that persecute me shall have double destruction in Jesus' name. In Job 22, 28, the word of God says that I shall decree a thing, and it shall be established unto me. I decree and declare God's judgment upon every witchcraft attack in our lives in Jesus' name, and according to the word of God in Revelation 12, 11, we overcome all our attackers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We cover our deliverance with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for answered prayers for in Jesus' mighty name we pray, Amen. Thank you Jesus for giving me victory. Thank you for you've won the battle on my behalf. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name, Amen.